So floor 33, again, we meet Dimitra. Pretty frustrating because of the silence, which means that Remy is pretty much a necessity. Um, unless you can get Ioni's skill to go off on turn 1. Otherwise, it's it's pretty annoying. I'm, I won't lie about that. But I did recently switch Zhao to use the Mythic or the Demi God hero. I don't think it'll make a huge difference because it will be too late by then. It's just that I find Zhao's skill is somewhat less useful as the turn goes on because uh, the boss starts to deal more and more damage. And as the turn goes on, we don't need that much Fury, which means that if we do need Fury, we can just simply use his active skill. Um, but yeah, Sword is restricted here, so that's why I'm going to go with Claire. It does provide a small Fury boost in the beginning, which is pretty useful. And yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. There are a lot of mobs, so ideally from the Arc of the Eight Guardians or something, whatever it's called, uh, you want to pick up as many, you know, uh, you want to pick up like one of those heroes because it could clear a lot of these like rows and columns, which is fairly useful. So I want to go ahead and cleanse on this, provide a 3x3 three three here, stun this one, I feel like. And yeah, we definitely don't need Jao's skill to go off anytime soon. Or actually, we could have just Fury Stole with Jao. Yeah, that's probably a misplay by me. Apologies. As long as Remy doesn't die, I think we're good. Uh, but Michael did die, which is uh, sort of a problem. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to reuse a skill and... There are a lot of mobs right now, so I can see there's three here and three here. I'm probably going to go for this column, um, which will get rid of three and then handle the rest with silences and stuns. So I'm going to go ahead and silence this column and then I'm going to stun probably... So this guy's already stunned, so I might as well stun this guy here. And that will make sure that everyone's either stunned or silenced and they can't use any of their shenanigans with their pushback or push to the right or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it doesn't really matter. It's just annoying regardless. Alright, so we'll see how this goes. Ideally, I'd actually protect Remy instead of Jao in this case because Remy is a lot more squishy and her skill is really needed in this case because of Dimitra's uh, guaranteed silence every turn. So I might just move her here. Or somewhere else I don't know we'll see how it goes um, we could just use a skill and then move Jao back which would shield um, yeah let's probably do that uh, so let's see how I want to do this so I'm gonna go with that and then move Jao back after and that person was stunned on two turns ago so I'm gonna restun We'll see if any of yeah, none of them are dead yet, but could go after this column and go after this one. Boss invincibility wears off. That's perfect because that means this hit will probably deal damage. Yes, it will, which is really sweet. Now all the mobs are gone. We only have to worry about Dimitra's silence now, which is. Pretty good. Um, I wouldn't even worry about Zhao dying at this point because it really doesn't matter. His skill is no longer useful because we already have enough Fury. Um, so, not a huge problem. In fact, we could probably just go for a Demi version and see how it works. I'm not 100% sure yet because he does cost 300 Fury, which is not exactly great in my books, but... The advantage with Claire and the costume is that you get a little bit higher fear return on single targets. So it might not be a terrible thing. And does improve tanking ability by a lot. So yeah, I'm going to bring back Remy over here. And the attack debuff is actually pretty nice. So yeah, I might try this more often in the future. Because I realized at the end of the... Or not the end, but like in the... As the turns go on, um, you kind of need Jao's skill less and less, uh, so it becomes less useful. Um, 
So let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go attack this. Keep shielding because Dimitra, I believe she hits in some weird pattern where like she hits everyone on the board. So, and I'm not gonna. I'm kind of low on fury, so yeah, I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna do that. Hopefully, the attack debuff is enough to keep her from you know completely killing us. Which is, and uh, yeah, I think it's actually enough to prevent her from killing us. So just constantly swap back and forth. Uh, keep Remy shielded because Remy is going to be the weakest or squishiest hero here. And I think next turn should do it, actually. Definitely get Demi Mike to use his skill and yeah, she's probably dead. So yeah, floor 33, uh, Demi Mike is pretty useful. Um, I did get sort of lucky. Uh, my demigod is actually rank S, S or I want to say. Um, I got lucky with two premium hires, but the level is actually fairly low. It's like level two. Because honestly, he's not worth investing in. It's just the attack debuff is pretty good. Um, it's a 50% regardless of what rank you're at, I think. So that's honestly the sweet part. Um, it does help you survive a lot. So yeah, I'm going to try this more often in the future. Um, someone in my guild showed me this, I think. I just don't remember who. Uh, so apologies. Uh, we've been having, you know, some guild changes recently. But regardless, I'll see you guys at 34, I want to say. I think we just finished 33. So 34, and then we'll see what's up with 35 because it has a weird description here, which is... I don't know, I'm curious. And 36 and 30, like pretty much 36 at the end, they all have this, you know, trying to end the world, so curious as to what that means and whether or not we need to pull out a specific hero to get to uh, those floors but yeah i'll see you guys at floor 34